So here I just want to show you a simple implementation of um, creating a database, reading and writing um, with it um, using SQLite in Unity. Um, if you haven't already, I have another video that goes over all the basics of setting up your files, where do you download the DLLs um, to be able to drag them in, and I went over a lot of the basics. I'm going to be breezing over them again, but I just kind of want to show how you would work with a UI and that. So here I have, just let me show you what it's going to end up looking like. And it's like super basic here, but I've got my food log and I could enter food in the meal and I could add to the log and that will display here. So let's say I want, um, I had spaghetti and I had that for dinner and add to log. And so it's listing spaghetti and dinner. And maybe I had um, um, scrambled eggs for breakfast. Okay. And notice it's not coming in first here. Um, how about I will have um, something else for um, uh, lunch. A sandwich for lunch. Now the way I have it currently set up, I believe, and I know the formatting is a little rough, I just wanted to mainly focus on the database, um, is I have it sorted by meal, and I'll, I'll point that out also in a second. So like, let me add another breakfast item, let's say. Let's have some bacon. Okay, and so notice that's also grouped with break bacon. And it's going breakfast, dinner, lunch, simply because of the B, the D, and the L. So it's, it's alphabetical. Um, if I wanted it to be breakfast, lunch, dinner, I'd have to um, uh, come up with a different plan there. So let's look at how this was created. Let me go over into my um, food log here. Um, I have my input fields. I have food input and meal input for my two input fields. I have food list is my display, my text field. And I have my database defined here. So my database is going to be called food log. And it starts up and it will make sure that that's um, all set up and that will be my, like I said, that's what, where my database will be. And in my start, um, I want it to, on setup, I want it to create a, a, a table if it doesn't exist. And then I want it to display whatever's in there if there's something. So like if I go over here and I hit stop um, and I hit play again, it's going to go and if it didn't have a table, it would be create it. And then regardless, it'll display what's in it. So notice this comes up again. And that's what, um, these are asking for. So let's look at the create. So here I've got my um, connection being set up and open. And then here I'm setting up my command object. And once again, if um, I'm breezing over this, I did do a previous video that, that talked about this a little bit more in detail. But in general, all of this, you can just kind of type in, it's gonna be the same. What you're gonna be changing is your SQL statement and even the execute query stays the same. So this is really what's changing. So in my case for this, I have a uh, table that I'm calling food items and I have two fields. I have food name, which is going to hold a variable character up to 30 characters and meal, which will hold up to 20 characters. Once again, variable characters, uh, it's a nice way to hold strings and it shrinks down to only contain what you type in versus holding if you just did plain old character at 30 it would always hold those 30 slots open even if um i wrote um food name um oh what i'm trying to think of what would be um short t okay if i had t t e a let's say it's only three characters it would still hold 30 characters if i had character 30 but with variable character, it will only contain my three characters. So it's, it's much nicer to keep your database size down. Okay. So that is what the 
um, create db is doing. So it goes in there the very first time, it creates a table if it doesn't exist and sets that up for me. Then it, back to start, display food first time in. So let's look and see what that does. So it's gonna go in and right away what I'm doing is I'm clearing out the text of the food list. So I have a double quote there and essentially that's an empty string. So if there's something in there, it clears it out so I don't just keep adding on to that. Um, otherwise, here, I'm, let, me, let me show you what, what would happen if I didn't have that. Let me save this. If I hit play, okay, notice food display stays. Let me hit stop and let me hit play again. I guess that one is just probably going to keep doing that, food display. Um, or let me add another food. How about um, tacos for dinner? Okay, so notice instead of um, clearing this out and having it once, it's repeating. So if I add it again, it keeps adding a lot. So I needed to clear this out before I add it onto my field. I'm sure there's other ways of doing this, but in this case, it's, this would be required for the way I'm doing it. So I do this before I open this connection. I've got my connection open. And once again, I'm setting up a command object and my um, query I have is select all from food items. Now, in my case now, I was ordering it by meal. If I don't want that, I can just say select all from food items. But um, if you want it to order or um, uh, anything like that, that's where you would put it. Let me get rid of that. I'll just do it random. So if I have select everything from food items, it'll grab all of the records, all of the fields. And then I'm going to be using that data reader to iterate through and, and retrieve my records for me. So this is stuff I can just type in all the way to the while. Really the only thing I need to change is inside this while statement. And in fact, it's just a single line. I just have a lot of comments there. So what you're gonna do is I am going to be manipulating my food list dot text. And so that's that field. I'm not writing to the console. So I need to write to the text field. Now notice I have plus equals. So that is going to add on to whatever's being built. So if I um, only had food text list.text equals food name and meal, it will only show the last record. So it would be um, go through and each time it would be replacing what's in food list.text. So instead by using plus equals, It'll go to the first record, get the first food name and the meal, and I've got a, a next line um, character or new line character, and then it'll go to the next one. So if it was spaghetti and dinner, new line, and then it would do you know tacos and dinner or uh, scrambled eggs and breakfast. But because of a plus equals, it keeps adding on. Okay, so that's important there too. All right, and I close this. So that's how it's displaying. And to add the food, I have another method, which I have connected to a button. And I'll uh, point that out too if, if anybody needs a little refresher how to connect this up. Um, I have my add food. Once again, I've got my connection stuff. That's all the same. I've got my command object. That's all the same. And what I'm changing here is my insert. So I have insert into food items. That's the name of my table. And I am going to be inserting into food name and meal. My values, and I am going to be putting my whatever is in the text of the input field food, food input.txt. And then I've got meal input.txt. And those will go into these two spots. And it's set up kind of odd with all these quotes because I need to include this single quote in the, the uh, SQL statement, as well as single quote comma single quote, so I can concatenate. So I've got from double quote to double quote, that'll include that, plus whatever the text is, plus that we've got the two double quotes to get those single guys in there and the, and the comma, and then at the end as well. All right, so. 
and I do that and then because it's added it would make sense for it to just to show the the new version so I then run the display food method so then that's down here let me run it again so I hit play it checks to see if the table existed already and um, it uh, did I not let's see Ooh, you know what I didn't I still didn't clear that out did I so let's fix that oh, actually I just didn't hit save save that okay so I've got my table already exists so it's there um, I could add another food item um, how about um, a BLT for lunch add to list so there it is I guess I must have had a thing let's see what um, how about um, somehow in my uh, in my file there I ended up with a, a blank line so um, but it's continuing on I don't have it sorted anymore notice it's dinner breakfast lunch dinner breakfast lunch and so on um, if I want it sorted I don't need to re-enter things. All I need to do is change my SQL statement. And so that is in the display. Select all from food items. I can type in order, buy, how about meal? Okay, save that. Go back here, let's try it again. And the display should change now. It has all the breakfasts, it has a dinner, my lunches. And the dinner here, I believe the lowercase is there because down below there because um, it's going through all the uppercase and then it continues on with lower so that's just how it it seems to have wanted to be so um, this would probably the ordering would probably work best for something like a leaderboard um, where you could do numbers you can do a descending or, or forward or backward okay quick um, reminder of how to connect the UI up um, I have my script connected to this script object. And because I have these input fields and my text field here, I'm able to then take my, in my canvas, I dragged my individual input items over to these inputs. So the food input is there. So if just again, what I would do is just drag it to that food input, my meal input, and my output, my food list. For the button, I scrolled down to where it said on click, and I clicked on this plus sign, and it came up with this here. Let me just remove it. Okay, so if the list is empty, I hit plus. I drag my script over to it that contains my um, method. And unfortunately, it's kind of strange. I can't just drag it from my, um, down here, I have to do it from a game object. And then here I'm going to choose my method. So it is in my food log script. And in this case, I want to add food. Okay, so that's how I would connect that up. Then when I hit play, that should all still work. So let's add, um, let's add another breakfast item. Um, how about coffee? Okay, and there it is.